Hello and welcome in Dying Light to once again. Today I want to show you the, for the first time a best, it's actually the best and the safest spot to farm volatiles. Mutation per day during the day, boons, treasures, a lot of stuff you can do here like hit the volatile with lightning's arrow for instance there was like 20 of these then if you want to do bounties and you like me don't want to struggle because sometimes yeah it's actually annoying i'll i'll show you i'm in the saint paul island and this is the dark hollow i'm talking about it's the safest and the best to farm big boys Again, St. Paul Island, you're gonna go on roof. This, there is a safe uh, here, 987 if you need it. Combination, and yep, look at this. A barricade from the wooden stuff. On the other side, on top, and on the bottom as well. Two goons inside. And just a lot of stuff. Below there is a like a vault. There is a lot of treasure here. And just a lot of stuff you can kill. And like I said, it's the safest because, well, I'm not the best player in the world when it comes to game like this, okay? I'm a little bit on the slow side now, but I still want to enjoy it. So if you have a bounty to farm... Okay, so you have a bounty like collect mutation uh, samples during a day. There's like thousand of these. Then you need to find yourself a good dark hollow and just do it, right? And I highly recommend this. Oh wait, there is no volatile here. He's below. Okay, besides that... Oh, there's a Volatile, and look! Aww. You don't even have to... Arrow, use arrows, look, look. Slash, move back. Boom. A lot of, it's a great stuff uh, to collect a lot of goodies. It's a really good place, at the best, because it's the safest. There is nothing you can go wrong here, because the only place that can like spawn uh, virals, because, yeah, if you messed up, the virals will come here, technically. They can come through this door, and they can spawn only here. They won't walk through them. From through those gaps but if if you make it loud noise they won't come for you if they won't spawn through here they will just walk around but they won't get you so yeah it's the best spot 
to get valuables. Mutations. And just essences. Just the best. And the safest. Oh, yeah. That's the only downside. If you go through to here and want to fight Viro, he can jump and hit you and then he will get... Yeah, that's why usually I'm using just arrows. Just get them done. And yeah, that's, that's it. That's pretty much it. That's the safest spot to farm volatiles. However, I just killed one volatile, so it's not really showing anything. So... <laughs> yeah, there is no volatiles here for some reason. Last time I was here, there was like six of them. Okay, so it might be random then. No problem whatsoever. At least you know where to go to get some mutation samples. And all of the common green ones, mutation samples, are definitely the, the one that you need the most. That's why it's good to have a spot where you can just farm them. Okay, I'm gonna end this very, very soon. Yeah. There is also this one, this place is also very good to have like crystals if you need for bounty. Because I know some of you are still doing it. And yeah. Purely treasures. I mean, I don't think we need more gold. We need more sources to spend gold because, hey, yeah, I have one and a half million and nothing to do with it. So, Techland, just give us something to spend money on. God's sake. It's just ridiculous. And that's it. That's the safest spot to farm volatiles during the day. I hope it was useful. Thank you for watching. Have fun and kill some zombies. Take care and bye bye.